Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a user to Ubuntu with SSH access. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. All right, I am logged into my Ubuntu server here. And the first thing I want to explain is that there's actually a couple different ways to add users. You have your add user command, which is located user sbin add user, and then you have your user add command, which is kind of confusing. Uh, but the thing you want to learn or just kind of know here is that you always want to use add user. Okay. It's more um, user friendly and it just has more helpful output. So that's what we'll be using in this tutorial. Um, and if, by the way, you are only interested in learning how to give this user SSH access because you already have him created, go ahead and skip forward in the video. We're going to first add the user to Ubuntu. So Let's do that with add user. So we'll do add user and the name of the user. So the user in this case, I'm going to call him Udoms. Okay, so it wants a password for this user. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And I'm going to retype the password. All right, good. That worked. Let's give him a name. And the rest of this really is all optional. So I'm just going to go ahead and proceed through this. Is the information correct? Yes. That looks good. So um, let's confirm that we have actually added that user so we can do that. Um, there's really no good way to just see a list of users, but you can do cut dash D colon dash F1 and then ETC password. And that's just going to look at that ETC password file, pull out all the users and we should see and we do UDOMs in there, our new user. So let's go ahead and switch users to him to or her to that user. So SU, the username, and now we are logged in to the server instead of root. Now we are logged in as UDOMs. Um, let's go ahead, uh, go to his root directory and I keep referring to him as him or her, but it's just a user account for my website that I will be making. So this is um, UDOMs home directory, home slash home slash UDOMs. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. It created that directory for us. Let's go ahead and exit back out. We are now root again. And let's go ahead and give this user SSH access. So how do we do that? Well, we can do, um, do that by editing the etc SSH and then sshd underscore config file. And in here, um, if you don't already have it, something called allow users, allow users, then you're gonna have to pretty much go down to the bottom of the file and add another line here called allow users and give, this is gonna be the list of users that you wanna allow SSH login. So um, we want definitely you, UDOM's user in, because we're working with root in this case, we also want to give, or not give root, um, we want to keep root um, being able to log in for now. I'm going to have another video about how to disable that. So uh, we'll put those two users as having SSH access to the server. So let's go ahead and save that. And now uh, for those changes to take place, we have to do a system CTL restart SSHD that we're going to restart the SSH uh, daemon. So uh, there's an error. So I'm thinking that I typed something wrong and I did. It's allow users. So if you see that, then that's, um, that's what's going on there. So let's try that again. We we'll restart the SSH daemon and that came back with no output. So we're good. And now we are ready to test this out. So let's just exit out of our root SSH session and we can SSH instead of root this time, let's try our new user UDOMs and it's gonna ask us for UDOM's password. We'll type that in. And we are now logged in via SSH as our new user. So um, that's about it for this video. If you do wanna learn how to disable root access via SSH, check out this video here. And also if you want to um, give this user, our new user, pseudo access, check out this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.